Hi everybody, this is Diane. When I did a recent video about my smash books, um, I had shown this one briefly. And it's it was mine. And it's a fashion smash book. And I never did anything with it. And I said that I was thinking about selling it in my shop. Um, so I decided that I would. Someone had already requested it, so it's already spoken for. But I will I said that I would show it to you. I would go through it if I had decided to sell it. So I'll just go through it for you. It's made with an old hardcover book. I made it so long ago, I don't even know what the book was. But I covered it up with this houndstooth patterned cardstock, which is so cool. And some Graphic 45 images from two different sets, I believe. And this is from a DCWV set. So I think there's quite a few pages of this paper in this smash book. It's got one inch coils and then there's the back. I use this pretty pearl pa um, patterned paper in there. This is just uh, something I had found on the internet and printed long before I ever started using digitals. So I printed this, it was just on paper or cardstock or something, and I glued it to the back of this and then punched the edge. This is graphic 45 paper. And that's from graphic 45, and this is from a cut apart that I had gotten from, I don't even know what kind of paper. But I, rem I know the name of the paper was Lucille but I don't know the set that it came from or the company it came from. Told you it's been a while. This is from Graphic 45 right here, this strip. And I think this is maybe Tim Holt's paper. I don't remember. Love this from Graphic 45. This one just has a bunch of pattern pieces on it. I made an envelope. I attached it in with a strip of a paper ruler. And these were actually cut off of some list pads that I had using the Tim Fetke fashion designs. And that she is also from Tim, Tim, Tim? Tom Fetke. No, I've got that all wrong. Tom Fetke is a musician. <laughs> <laughs> music arranger. Um, he does paper dolls. I can't remember his name. But I'm thinking, I think it's Tom. Anyway, I have a lot of his paper dolls, or I used to. I just sold them. This is Graphic 45, and I added a couple elements to the back. This has a little, <clears throat> whatever those things are called. The back side of this has a row of buttons. as a little tab to um, bind it in. <clears throat> These are Graphic 45 stamps. I don't know if this one is. There's the paper doll guy. <laughs> His doll. And Graphic 45. I love these images here. I think the name of the paper is Couture. There were two different sets of paper, like I said. And I made this one into a little folder. Well, it's a trifold journaling card. And you can. So it was. I just cut it out like this, and then folded it, and then punched the corners. And then I added some paper to write on. See, this is one of the list papers. I just cut it to fit this tag. And then I had also found on the internet these images of Barbie dolls. Very high fashion looking Barbie dolls. So you'll see some more of them in here. This one is, these are all Graphic 45 images from different sets. These are two, they were joined together. I just cut that as one piece and then sewed this piece on and then sewed this little piece on. Put it all on as a tuck spot. This is DCWB paper. 
And these were all punch outs from one of the Graphic 45 sets. And they had little holes and slats. So I threaded this ribbon through them for those three. And then just added those to the top. This says, I'm so busy. Doing what? Being fabulous? Wish I could remember that paper doll guy's name. There's journaling on the back. And there's another of the Barbie cards. This is a beautifully designed, really thick... Um, I wouldn't say it's acetate, it's thicker than that. I don't know what it is, but I, I bought a sheet of it in the scrapbook paper section in one of the stores. There's another image from the internet. There's another Barbie. And another one. This is from the internet. I had this set of paper dolls with her on it. It was um, from the 1940s. Clothing designs. A lot of fun stuff in this book. I love it, but I figured I was never going to use it, so I might as well let someone else have it that would use it. There's all these 1930s shoes over here, and I had these two shoe stamps of the same styles as these, so I stamped them over there with the same color that this paper is. These are Tim Holtz stickers. They go very well with this page, which is also Tim Holtz. There's some couture um, tickets up there. And then I used a crocodile pattern paper on the back, put a library card with a little scrap of the paper and a stamp. And I had an envelope full of goodies with this book, so I'll send them along. I'll include them with this journal. This is from the internet. This I made with my Cricut. I didn't even remember what was in this envelope. I just took scraps, apparently, and added journaling places to them. Did some collage. Okay, so I will be putting this in my shop, but it will, will be reserved for the person who got to me first on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.